What do these mean? Fanboys. Coordinating conjunctions, that's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now this video right here is going to be a discussion on the different uh, coordinating conjunctions. I mentioned it in so the discussion natin about compound sentences. If you haven't seen that video yet, you can link it on the i button so you can watch that and learn kung paano mag form ng compound sentences. But before we do that, just a quick little, little plug. If you want to help support this channel and our cause to democratize education here in the Philippines, you can do that by being a channel member. If you want to get to know about the perks, bonuses, and other na mga ways for you to help us help more people, don't forget to um, click on the link below. Uh, beside the subscribe button, you can see yung join. Or you can also click right here for more information. Alright, and now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over to my PC. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about yung fanboys, which is the, the list of yung mga pinaka gamit na gamit na coordinating con conjunctions. And it's actually uh, a lesson that is stemming out dun sa ating previous lesson, which is about compound sentences. Kasi sabi natin doon, yung structure ng compound sentence goes like this. You have an independent clause. Tapos, dadagdagan mo siya ng either a, a semicolon or a coordinator. And then, yung kasunod na independent clause. Napag-usapan din natin na ang list or Ang acronyms natin na ginagamit, no, mnemonic device natin for, for this list is yung fanboys. Kasi they are for and nor but or yet and so. Now, nasabi na rin natin doon na kailangan may comma before the coordinator when separating two independent clauses. Now, kung hindi na natin yung fanboys, again, one of the things that we have to remember is which one to use. May mga meanings kasi sila na kinoconvey sa kung alin yung um, coordinating conjunction na ginamit mo. If it's uh, about the process, if it's about linking two things, if it's about contrast. So, ang gagawin natin in this video ay hihimayin natin sila. And hopefully at the end, you have a better grasp of which conjunction to use. Sa susunod na kayo ay may homework or may kailangang isulat. Okay? Now, Dito tayo sa for muna. Yung for is used kung pwede mo rin gamitin yung because. Okay? But ang warning here is that yung for seems a little too formal. So, nakasanayan na natin, mas madalas kinagamit yung because. Basically, again, if the first uh, independent clause um, is something that comes after yung second independent clause or yun yung naging reason behind yung first independent clause happening, we use for. Now, anong magandang example dyan? If you have something like this, sabi dito, I didn't see what happened. Blank, I missed the party. Una sa lahat, you notice, magka uh, hiwalay naman yung dalawa with a comma. So, this is the first independent clause. I didn't see what happened. Yung pangalawa is I missed the party. Ang nawawala na lang is yung ating coordinating conjunction. Now, dahil, ang ibig sabihin nito is that this right here, yung I missed the party, kaya niya hindi nakita yung nangyari. Again, ito yung reason. Okay. Then we can use for. So, I didn't see what happened for I missed the party. Now, a quick trick would be to substitute the word because. If pwedeng gumana yung because, then we can use for. For example, I didn't see what happened because I missed the party. Sa end naman tayo. Now, yung end ginagamit natin if you are linking two things na pareho ang condition, so pareho mangyayari. So, they are usually used then for similar na pangyayari. Uh, if pareho silang positive or pareho silang consequence ng isang bagay. Basta again, it's basically joining two things that are usually similar. For example, nakalagay dito, I had jet lag, blank, I was too tired to get up. So yung feeling ng jet lag, tsaka yung being too tired to get up, you can connect them kasi they are similar and uh, you can just link those two sentences together. So it's a quick fix. We can just say, 
and I was too tired to get up. So again, you have this right here, but in the comma. Remember, you will only put the comma right there, sa, lalo na before the end, kapag you are connecting dalawang independent clauses. Okay? Kung ano kagay lang dito is, I had jet lag, tapos, and a headache, for example. Yung a headache is not an independent clause. So, dependent siya. So, dahil ganun, pag naglagay ako ng end to link those two things na meron siya, I don't need to put a comma right here. Okay? So, just a quick little reminder before we move on to the next coordinating conjunction, which is nor. Yung nor, we use it to also connect two things. However, ang setup niya is like this. If you have a negative independent clause sa simula, tapos you will add another independent clause na negative rin ang spirit or negative din yung gusto mo sabihin. Now, example natin right here, we have I wasn't well enough to go. So this right here is a negative statement when a time wasn't. So negative siya. So pasok tayo dun sa first na standard. Tapos idudugtong lang natin yung kasunod. Was I willing to lose sleep? So I wasn't well enough to go. Nor was I willing to lose sleep. Okay? So, yan. Yan yung nor. Again, um, basically, you're connecting two things. Pareho naman sila ng gustong sabihin or connected sila. Hindi pwedeng positive isa, tas negative isa. Pero ganito yung framing natin. You have a first na independent clause, which is negative, and then yung kasunod niya. Now, bakit ka ganun kailangan? Kasi if you look at this example right here, Sabi niya, I was too tired. So, was, Nisha wasn't, no? It's a positive. I was too tired. Pag binagyan mo ng nor was I willing to lose sleep, iba yung feeling medyo mali. Bakit? Kasi yung nor, meron siyang idea na yung kasunod is going to be not like yung first one. Eh, parehong mong sinasabi na pagod ka. So, pagod, masyado na akong pagod, pero hindi ako, hindi willing to lose sleep. So, again, it changes the entire meaning of the sentence. So, mas maganda if negative yung first na independent clause. Yun yung ating paggamit ng nor. Okay? Now, dito tayo sa but. Yung but is also used to show contrast. Now, pag sabi na ng contrast, medyo kaibahan dun sa unang independent clause. Now, last time, we used the example na for the wages of sin is death. That is a negative statement. And then yung kasunod niya, but the gift of God is eternal life. So, gift of God, it's a positive thing. So, again, it shows contrast. Kung negative yung nauna, positive yung kasunod. Okay? Positive yung nauna, negative yung kasunod. Okay? Now, dito tayo sa example natin. We have this, sabi, Zach tried to wake me up. Blank, I didn't even budge. Okay? So, si Zach, tinry ka niyang i-wake up. So, nigising ka niya. Parang mataas na energy yan. Kaya lang, okay, ano nangyari? Hindi siya nag-succeed. So, attempt, tapos failure. Dahil magkasalungat naman sila, or may contrast dun sa dalawang clauses, pwede natin sabihin, but I didn't even budge. We could also say something like, I know you mean well, but what you said was hurtful. So again, yung I know you mean well is a positive thing. Kaya lang, what you said was hurtful is a negative thing. So again, it shows contrast yung but. Doon naman tayo sa or. Yung or, it shows you two options. So pinagpipilian mo sila. Okay? For example, if you have something like this, sabi niya, we could have breakfast downstairs. Blank, we can order room service. So basically, sinasabi, mamimili ka. Pwede tayo mag-breakfast sa baba o mag-order ako ng room service. At dahil option nito, we can use OR. Now again, just a quick little note. Kapag naglalagay tayo ng OR sa pagitan ng dalawang object lang, dalawang options, dalawang nouns, na hindi naman sila independent clauses, hindi natin kailangan lagyan ng comma before it. So pag sinabi ko na, which do you prefer? Reading or Writing, hindi ko kailangan lagyan ng kama dito. Okay? Reminder lang yun. Nandito tayo sa yet. Ang yet naman is about contrast as well. Okay? But um, in sa akin, ang preference ko for yet is parang pag merong bagay na um, kasalungat dun sa, sa norm, so hindi siya masyadong expected, 
or pag ginawa mo na lahat, yet may exception pa rin. So, may ganong feeling siya. For example, sabi, my stomach is empty, blank, I don't feel hungry. Now again, you could put but here, but I don't feel hungry. Okay? But ang, kung ang gusto mong i-emphasize is, ito yung normal. So, ang expectation is, nagugutom ka, di ba? Pero exception yung ngayon, yet I don't feel hungry. Okay? So, again, you can use that instead of but. Now, yung so naman. Ang so is about reason or a result. Pwede rin siyang ipalit dun sa therefore. For example, if I have something like this, I know I need to eat, so I'll meet you downstairs in five minutes. Bakit? Kasi itong I'll meet you downstairs ay magiging resulta nung fact na kailangan kong kumain. Alam ko kailangan kong kumain, kaya ito yung gagawin ko. I'll meet you downstairs in five minutes. Okay? Or again, pwede natin interchange yung therefore. I know I need to eat, therefore, I'll meet you downstairs in five minutes. Medyo old English lang yung dating nung therefore sa ganyang klaseng case. Okay? So, yun yung so. So, kapag may result or reason or minsan question na uh, nagpa-follow. Okay? Now, tinan natin yung quick quiz natin, no? So, I'll give you some samples ng sentences. Uh, actually, two sentences siya na ipagdudugtong natin using coordinating conjunctions. Again, you can pick yung tingin ninyo ay best na discuss natin yung options. And if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. Okay, tingnan na natin yung una, no? Sabi, Lenny was tired. Tapos, yung next sentence is, she was happy. If I want to put these two sentences together, anong gagawin ko? Now, sabi, yung tired kasi medyo negative yung connotation niya, no? So, pagod siya. Pero happy siya, which is a good thing. Dahil may contrast dyan, okay? I could choose to use but. So, magiging comma, but... Tapos, small letter na yung S. She was happy. Okay? So, that's an option. Now, some of you would have used yet. Okay lang din yon Again, medyo similar naman dun sa paggamit. Kaya na sa akin, hindi ganun ka, ka strong. Sa akin lang ha, preference ko lang yun. Hindi, I will not use yet for this. Now, yung number two. Arthur had everything he wanted. Tapos, yung kasunod, kasunod he felt empty. Now, this is where I would use yung yet. Bakit? Kasi, every, he has everything he wanted, so that is a positive thing, a good thing, diba? Na you have, or you already have everything, so sobrang superlative na yun, no? Pero, ang kasunod, he felt empty, which is negative. So, again, ang normal na reaction dito is that you're good. 
Tapos nagkaroon ng deviation sa normal, nagkaroon ng exception, he felt empty. So, ang gagamitin ko dito is, instead of magiging period yan, comma na lang, tapos, yet. Yet, he felt empty. So, small letter H na siya. Okay? Next, Ken had no one to rely on. He worked harder than everyone on the team. Now, ito yung nauuna, which is yung situation niya, tapos yung ginawa niya. Okay, dahil dun sa situation na yon. So ako, ang preference ko na coordinating conjunction na gagamitin ko would be so. Kasi ito yung cause, tapos ito yung naging effect niya or naging dahilan. Okay, or therefore, ito yung naging result. ba? So, Ken had no one to rely on, comma, so he worked harder than everyone on the team or everyone else on the team. Next, Giselle is young, tapos she is eager to learn. Now, yung young tsaka eager to learn, hindi naman necessarily contrasting yun. So, ang ilalagay ko na lang ay end. So, Giselle is young and she is, again, small letter na lang ito, she is eager to learn. Next, Claribel didn't want to waste her time. She didn't want to waste this opportunity. Now, that is a mouthful, right? Kasi waste her time, waste this opportunity. So, anong pwede natin gawin para i-bridge natin to together? Ang preference ko is to use nor, okay? Now, dahil gagamitin ko yung nor, meron akong kailangan i-rephrase dito. So, didn't want, check na yan kasi negative na siya. Pero kung ikakabit ko yung comma plus a nor, okay, so ang gagawin ko na dito Yung she didn't, is change ko no, sa nor did she want to waste this opportunity. Okay? So, Claribel didn't want to waste her time, nor did she want to waste this opportunity. Next, we can stay and sort it out. Blank, you can leave. So, ito parang medyo kon, ano na siya eh, pinapipili, pinapipili ka, ano, aayusin natin ito, magsistay ka o aalis ka. So, dahil options itong ipinapresent natin, what we could add would be or. So, you can stay and sort it out. Or, the small letter Y, you can leave. Last na. Rowena helps support this team. She believes in our cause. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nun, um, ito yung ginagawa ni Rowena, nagsusupport siya ng team, and ito yung reason. Kasi, she believes in our cause. So, pwede dyan yung because or dahil pwede because for. So, Rowena helps support this team for she believes in our cause. And just a little bit of an Easter egg, itong mga names na ginamit ko dito are actually names of our channel members. They do help support this team and our cause. So, maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. And I hope uh, medyo I brought a bit of a smile on your face by mentioning your names. And I know some of you want to remain anonymous, so I didn't use your full names. But maraming salamat sa inyong support. And uh, yeah, if you want more information about that, nasa description box na rin sa baba. Again, you have multiple options here. This is just how I would solve it. And if you have alternatives then comment yun na lang din sa video na ito. Okay? Now, um, I will be posting more questions on my Instagram account. So if you don't follow me yet, follow me at Laika Maravilla on Instagram. I also have another account, yung at Team Laika naman account, where we post throwback questions, updates, and iba pang mga important announcements. And if you're on TikTok, you can also follow me at Team Laika for the English math videos. And yung at Laika Maravilla naman for the motivational videos, tips, advice, at iba pa. Okay, see you online. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends and look mag-exam din sila. That way, mas wala na tayo matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers I may join the online or live review events. You can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information. And if you don't want to miss any of our new uploads, marami pa tayong paparating na mga videos, mga le lessons sa math, language, at iba pang subjects, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon para ma-notify kayo kapag ready na sila. Alright? And again, if you want to help support this channel, another way for you to do that is to visit our merch shop, the shop.teamlaika.com. That is where I put up yung mga designs for mugs, like this trying hard mug right here <laughs> that I made. Shirts, hoodies, at iba pa doon sa shop.teamlaika.com. Yung proceeds there go to our Hope Fund, which helps support this channel and, of course, all of our scholars. Alright? Thanks, guys, for watching. And as we always say sa channel to, never stop learning. Aja, aja, kainian. I'll see you in the next video. And... Bye for now.